Professor Jolene, Professor Jolene. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a hurry. That's okay, don't slow down, I'll catch up. Hi, Roy Gilmore. Nice to meet you, Roy. And you, really. I'm actually hoping to get a spot in your class. It was full by the time I got my name in. Not that my delay in registering should be taken as lack of enthusiasm. Apparently not. So anyhow, I'm really hoping to score a spot in your class. Well, ad job begins tomorrow. I'm aware of that. I just thought I would start putting in a good word for myself right now. So here's the good word. I'm dying to be in your class. I even bought your book, see? The one you wrote for the class. And I bought it new, not you, so you get full royalty payment on it. Well, thank you. I want to be in your class. I can't make you any promises, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. And by the way, I get full royalties whether you buy the book new or used. See how much I've learned already. Goodbye, Rory. I will see you tomorrow. I knew you'd have to hit the coffee cart eventually. Features beat Ferris. You deserve it, you're a good writer. Thank you, and I know you're gonna be a great editor. I plan on it. Yeah, but you know, you might wanna ease up just a tad. What do you mean? You know, the five minutes for the cookies, the no talking signs posted everywhere, the no decorating your desk rule, the new demerit system that locks on the bathroom doors. It's just all a little um, harsh and restrictive. This is a newsroom. People should be able to talk, yell, joke around. I don't agree. Go to the bathroom. Journalism is an art form, and the best art is created under repression, like Stalin's gulag. You think Solzhenitsyn could have written one day in the life of Ivan Denisovich on a yoga retreat? Paris, I don't really oh, think... great. I got a call saying your boyfriend was coming back. He's not my boyfriend anymore, Paris. We broke up. Hey, keep your personal stuff at home, okay? I can't be seen caring about this. My door is not open! Huntsberger, my office, now! Sit down, Logan. Let's have a little talk about your future. Sure, Paris. Now, I know you think your sugar daddy runs the world, and that includes this paper, and possibly in the past that was true but not anymore. You don't scare me. Your daddy doesn't scare me. Your mommy doesn't scare me. If you have a brother, a sister, or a really angry cat, they don't scare me either. Hey, either spin a plate on your nose while you do that or cut it out, because I'm speaking. Sorry. Oh, you will be. Now let's talk about deadlines. I brought coffee, but it's cold. It's a nice place you got here. I've been discussing the proper baking soda to actual crack ratio. You can get away with it with your neighbors downstairs. Two to one during the daylight, three to one at night. I have 10 minutes to change, then I have some place I have to be. It's gonna take you 20 to unlock your door. Bye, Logan. This place is a dump or you can't live here. You don't get to care about where I live anymore, Logan. You broke up with me through your sister. I didn't mean for that to happen. You're a coward. Mr. Life and Death Brigade can't even break up with his girlfriend. Honor was bugging me and I just told her we broke up to shut her up. I needed some time. So you didn't mean it? No, I did. I just, it was too much for me, okay? It was a fight. People fight. Yeah, well, I don't fight. I don't want to be screaming at you at a bar. I can't take that. It's too much drama. Well, if you can't take the drama, then you shouldn't even be in a relationship. Which, by the way, you're not. So everything's good. It's not that easy. Sure it is. Want some help? Nope. Bet one of those guys downstairs could help you out getting into a locked apartment. <sighs> Just go be you somewhere else, Logan. I thought that I wanted to break up. I thought that it was a stupid experiment, me trying to be a boyfriend, that it didn't work and I'd just move on, and I didn't. Couldn't, actually. Rory, I love you. I have an appointment. I have to go. 